everyone. Welcome to Excise Prescriptor. I am Kritika. Myself, Nudhubashni. In the series of Excising in Pregnancy, today we are going to demonstrate you the exercises which are going to be performed during the postpartum period, that is after delivery. Let's start. The common complications a woman faces after delivery include breathlessness, back pain, urine leakage or urinary incontinence, weak abdominals which will lead to diastasis recti. So exercising after delivery is very much important to strengthen your muscles and prevent all these complications. Yes, you are right. But everyone have this doubt when a woman should start exercise after delivery. The answer depends on how fit you were in your pregnancy period and the mode of delivery like if it was a normal vaginal delivery or a c-section delivery. If you have had a normal vaginal delivery, it is generally safe to start exercising as soon as you feel ready. But if you have undergone a c-section delivery, it is generally advised to wait for at least 6 to 8 weeks for your body to heat and then start exercising. Yes, it's clear. Now we'll move on to exercises. The first exercise is core breathing. For that you have to place the two fingers on the sides of the abdomen. Breathe in through your nose so that your abdomen pushes the fingers out and breathe out through your mouth forcefully. Yes. So while doing this you can feel the tightness in your abdominal muscles and this exercise helps to provide relaxation and strengthens your abdominals and the diaphragm. The next exercise is the Kegels exercise which is a very important one that you have to do in both prenatal as well as the postpartum period. So for this exercise you have to squeeze the muscles in the bottom of your pelvis like as you are stopping the urination while flowing out. So for this exercise you have to squeeze the muscle and relax for 10 times quickly and then now we have to squeeze the muscle and hold it for 10 seconds and relax. This is how you have to do this exercise. You can do this exercise in any positions like sitting, standing, lying, etc. This exercise helps to prevent the pelvic organ prolapse, prevents urinary and fecal incontinence. Also, it helps in healing of the episiotomy stitches in your perineal region. The next exercise is adductor isometric bridging. For that, you have to place the ball between the knees. Do a pelvic tilt, press the ball and now raise your back. In this, you can feel the inner thighs and the glute muscles. If you're not having the ball, place your feet together, open your knees and now raise your back. So this helps in activation of your inner thighs as well as the glutes, which indirectly strengthen your pelvic floor muscles. So the next exercise is bird dog. For this exercise, you have to keep your both hands forward and you have to lift your one leg and opposite side of the hands together. So make sure in this exercise your spine has to be in the straight line and your body should not rotate. This exercise will improve your core stability and also it strengthen your back extensors, diaphragm muscle and also it improve the strength of your pelvic floor muscles. So the next exercise was side plank. For this exercise you have to be in the side line position by keeping the elbow like this and bend your both knees. Make sure that your body is in the straight line. Now you have to lift your hip and hold this position. See, actually there is no specific time duration for holding this position because everyone's fitness level is not same. So hold this position for 80% of your maximum holding capacity. This exercise will improve the strength of your obliques muscles. So the last exercise was banded core rotation. For this exercise, you must have a resistance band. You have to stand in this position and hold the rope like this. Now you have to rotate your body against this band resistance. See this exercise will strengthen your external oblique muscles. And you have to do this exercise for both sides. I think we have come to the end part of this video. No, no. Before ending the video, let's debunk a myth. People misconceive that performing curl up exercises will increase the diastasis recti. But according to the study analysis, performing curl up exercises will not increase the diastasis recti but instead it will increase the abdominal muscle strength and the thickness of the muscle. Yes, it's really a great information. We hope this video was very much useful to you. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends who are in their postpartum period. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.